Hey, horse people and gun people. My electrical tips. Just for my credentials, I am a certified 100% backyard electrician with years of experience of screwing shit up. So what I say is probably learn from hard lessons. So uh, I used to have a good, a good seal line here, but I put this box over here, ran the wire down, ran it up and into this. The reason why I wanted this here is that for a water bucket for the heat, I'll be able to move that water bucket over to this socket so I don't have a wire hanging for the horses to kick on it. So it's got a G F C I thingy. Um, if you notice, I put one of these on here. This will keep um, the bugs, ants, etc., out of there. So when I'm not using it, I definitely like these little plastic things. Um, am I in a picture here? So you just plug it in. So that that helps keep dirt and things out of your sockets outside this is a little light it's turned upside down so i know that this hasn't blown a circuit uh, when i plug my heater in here i can look out here and i will see light around my socket so i just this is one of those little night lights that uh used to be um had a little shell over it and it looked like a little shell and you plug it in like this so i put it upside down so the light comes out of the box and i know it's on so put this pvc here ran it over here put that up there the sun's out so i'm hard to see put that up there put some caulk around there and then i just replaced this little box because on this one i have to have something plugged in but i still want it closed for the weather if i plug something in my I put the water heater in here and i plug it it's not going to close all the way which i'm going to lose my water protection and then that's possibly get water in there shorted out and then my heater goes out so I bought this to replace this green one. The green one was over here. I bought this. Now I moved the green from here over here. Because remember, before I put this pad in, my water bucket was right here next to the pole. So it was easy for me to um, put my bucket here and use this plug. Well now, because of this, I want this under the cover. Sometimes when you put cover over water, it stops the... Um, it stops it from freezing. It definitely stops it from getting hot. So my water stays much cooler now and cleaner longer because the sun isn't hitting it. Hits it in the morning a little bit over here. It hits it in the afternoon a little bit over here. But for the hottest part of the day, it's under the shade. So this is more about electrical instead of horsey stuff. But So this box was always getting dirty, ants, wasp nests, all kind of crap getting in there. And I didn't like that. So I really just gooped the hell out of this. This is on here with two long nails, but I just gooped it really good. That way water's not gonna go in the back and possibly get in and some of these cracks. I went ahead and gooped the little screw. This is a little plug screw that comes with it. Uh, I put tape on there, which you don't need, but I put it anyway. The, um, the plumber's tape, that'll help the water from leaking in. And then I went ahead when I put this on there, I just rubbed a little goop over it to help even more so water doesn't drop down in there and short us out. Again, I'm not having my water heater in here. It's still a GCFI because it's outdoor, but um, I just got to get a little clamp here so Buddy didn't come over and open and stick his whiskers in there. And then I've got the wire coming in here. And then this box was always getting dirty stuff. So I put caulking on every little hole to where they've either screwed something or screwed it out. There was a lot of little places. This was just a hole. They cut a hole and put a ground wire through. Actually, I think I might have did that when I um, when I changed this box. This box wasn't big enough. They put a little box in. They went cheap. And when I ran the garage over to here, I needed a bigger box. So this is the box that I put in. But it had all these little holes just from the factory, so you could change things. Uh, this had an actual knockout to where they knocked something out. So this is called a knockout plug. So what happened is, is they knocked one of these out, was going to run a wire, and they changed it. And the reason why that's knocked out is when I had the professional electricians come over to plug in my generator one guy put it in wrong the other guy came back and goes i can't be there and he pulled it out so he plugged that with one of those plugs i went ahead and i caulked on the outside and on the inside so any place you see caulk hopefully this is going to stop because every time i open my electrical box there's wasp and dirt and all kind of crap so then i went one step further see this little foam sticking out here i really got tired so it's really pain in the ass to open this let me open this up okay so this little hinge here is nothing but a spring tension hook here, but it secures it pretty well, but I was always still getting bugs coming in this door. 
So what I did is I got some weather stripping that I put around my other doors and I just stuck it around this edge here. This really uh, made a difference in how hard and secure, but now bugs can't get into here, into the box. If they get into here, they usually go through these little cracks here on the side and there was a big gap right up here. You can't see it because it's put that foam in there, but there was a big gap up there. And let me take this off and I'll show you the inside. Okay, so I got the three screws off. And again, there's still little cracks here that they might be able to get in if they get in the door. But since I put foam here and up here, I don't think they can even get in the door. But anyway, let me pull this off now. Show you what I did here. Oh shit, something already fell off. This was supposed to be glued down right along here and it's already come off. So that glue did not stick that well. Or I pushed it off. Yeah, it's not sticking real well. And I did clean this off. I could probably put a, um, a line of this goop here in there. So, so this is, check this out. This is the old stuff that never dried. This is like four days old. This is silicone that has gone bad. And when silicone goes bad, it looks like this rough stuff. Don't use it, it will not dry. So I had to go re-back and put regular silicone in here. Um, so anyway, it looks like uh, this piece might have fell off. Looks like uh, another little piece fell off. I had one here and one there. So I may have to get some glue and glue is on a little bit better because this, this natural sticking they put on there isn't that good. But I originally put kind of put some felt in here so the bugs couldn't get in. But this is the really big gap that I was worried about where they went in the top. So when this is closed up here, there's like that much gap up the top. And that's where I think most of the bugs and stuff were getting in. So uh, now uh, with the ceiling behind, they shouldn't get in. I cleaned off my box. I sprayed them all down up to the labels. The labels have faded out here um, in case these labels come off. Uh, I just take these little wires here and just kind of cut them when I strip something and I save them. And you can put them on afterwards by just cutting the back like so, and then uh, putting your label. So I know which box has which power to what. So I put this as the heater because that's the new box right there that I plan on pulling the heater in. This is the pole plug that I changed for the pole plug. This one runs out to my little shelf here. This runs out to the barn. And this is my pump house double here. Um, and I think this is also the pump. Oh no, that's the barn. It was a double to the barn and a double to the pump. And then I have the shed, the pole heater, and that one. So this one is still isn't used and it's open. But this just really gets dirty. There was like cobwebs and spiders build their nests. And if you ever go outside and pull open your, your box, it usually looks like shit. And I would come out here and clean this. You know, every time I go in here, I'm like, shit, this thing's filthy. So I'd clean it and I'm like, damn, why does it keep getting so dirty? Well, there was a lot of little holes down here that weren't clogged up, which I clogged up now. So now there shouldn't be any holes down here that they get in. I clogged up all these little filler holes. See this little screw? So now there's caulk on that. There's caulk on those screws. Uh, I say caulk, I'm just using regular old silicone. So now all those are closed and now I put this weather stripping here, which really makes a really great seal on this. I think this is where most of the bugs were getting in. And uh, so hopefully that will uh, keep my fuse, my uh, outdoor fuse box looking clean and the, the less chance of dirt, you're going to have bad contacts. You're going to have mosquitoes, ants, not mosquitoes so much, but ants and spiders really like to build their nest in these things if they can get in. And a lot of people will just pour ant killer at the bottom of these. So when an ant comes in, it'll kill it, but the ant killer dries out and it doesn't work. So that's, that's kind of a temporary fix. I think sealing it up real good is probably the key. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's my fuse box. Okay, so I got my shield back on. I got the foam coming up here. They're not gonna be able to climb in this big gap that used to be there. Uh, they can probably still get through a little bit on the edge. I'll check this after the winter and see what it looks like. And then in the middle of summer, I'll check it. And uh, if it's kept the dirt down or if I see openings, then I know I need to seal it up better. But I'm pretty sure this little weather stripping is probably the best fix. It makes it a pain in the butt for this door to shut because it's very, very hard to shut. But you know what? I don't open it or shut it that much any damn way. So, uh, 
Um, and I mean, it is a pain to shut. I usually have to push. So anyway, I'll shut it off camera because it takes two hands and I'm holding the camera and I can't do it. So because it's so hard to shut, I'm really thinking this ceiling right here is really doing a good job at making good contact. And that's my uh, keep your outdoor electrical box clean. I know it doesn't matter. Also, I sprayed all the contacts and all my, um, they say if you don't work fuses, sometimes they won't blow or they get stuck or they get really old. Some people say don't mess with them. If it ain't fixed, don't broke. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I spray mine down with that uh, cleaner and conditioner, electrical contact cleaner and conditioner. And then I work them and they usually work a lot smoother because I want them to blow if something goes wrong. I, want, I don't want them to be stuck open because they've never been flipped for 20 years. Okay, so that's a routine electrical box of maintenance from a certified backyard electrician. Well, in that there.